volunteer must have a secret gathering where they discuss how to surprise students into discovering things about themselves they didn't know were there, their own individual and collective intellectual and imaginative talents. With my own reflections in mind, I ask a few of my senior classmates to imagine what they'd remember about Breadloaf in five and 10 or 20 years. Marco Rodarte said, this place of mountains where I've met a handful of classmates and professors who through their examples helped me learn some more about what it means and what it takes to care for and care about others, to be more unabashed about what my interests are and why. Laura Benton from Kentucky says, Breadloaf empowered me to be this crazy person, this crazy version of myself that I hadn't met yet. I will remember that my capacity to hold stories within me is limitless. So I want to send you off today with some thoughts about effort. I want to send you down the mountain thinking about the sacred act of trying, the capacity to persist, and even more specifically for us at Breadloaf on the Mountain, the capacity for, to persist in making meaning. And leaving here with your degree, you are rising to meet the world's yearning for increase. Many of you will meet that yearning by teaching, and that alone is an extraordinary act. Let none of you forget that the number one thing teachers do is increase meaning. And others of you will meet the world's yearning for meaning by creating more just laws or policies. For justice, too, is a way of deepening meaning and giving dignity to those who have not had it or who have lost it. We need dignity to survive. You will encourage not only new vision, but new effort, new trying, new attempts. You will enable the attempt as much as you enable the accomplishment. You will make trying harder one of the most joyful things one can do. In this, you are harvesting light where you can find it. In this, you are breadloaf people. <laughs>